Morning, Lou. Um, is your meat? Good morning everyone, it is Debbie and I am back with another video for you guys today. I hope you all are having an amazing week, an amazing great start to the new month. I'm excited for today's video as you can tell by the title. If you guys were having any questions about setting up a Patreon or setting up a Patreon to be able to sell foot content on, I'm going to be going over that step by step with you guys today to go ahead and teach you guys that, answer any questions that you have. If after this video you still have questions, please be sure to leave a comment down below and I will respond to your comment whenever I have time. With that being said, if you are a returning subscriber, hey, make sure to leave a comment down below. And if you're a new subscriber, hi, welcome to my channel. My sole focus here is financial stability, entrepreneurship, and lifestyle slash real life videos. If that's something that you guys are interested in, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. As always, I'm not going to try to ramble too much. You guys know my Patreon, my new e-course is coming. My old e-course is available. If you guys want to purchase that, I will put all of the links in the description box and down below for you guys to go ahead and check that out. And as always, let's just get straight into the video. So the first thing that you need for Patreon is obviously an email account. If you don't want to use your personal email, that is perfectly fine. You can just go ahead and set up a new email. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my computer, set up a fake email, and then I will go into setting up the actual Patreon with you guys. Now, I do just want to let you guys know when you are making this email, I do recommend going with either Outlook or Gmail, whichever one is up to you. And the reason why I suggest that is because Outlook has all of the office tools like Excel, spreadsheets, all that good stuff that you guys may end up needing. They also have a calendar. So if you are creating your Patreon to where you post a certain amount of time every week, every day, every month, whatever the case is, you can go ahead and put in your calendar when you need to post, that way you can keep up with it. Um, Google has the same exact thing. I personally prefer the Google Calendar over the Hotmail Calendar. However, the Hotmail does have more office tools for you to use. So I would recommend picking one of those and using that for your email but it is up to you, like I said. All right, so obviously for this video, you guys can tell I'm going to set up a Gmail real quick. So we're gonna do first name, we'll do um, Lindsay, and last name, we'll do Hauser, okay? So you just put in your first name and your last name. Um, if you are planning on using this to actually contact customers, I would not put in your first name or your last name. Um, however, if you do ever get locked out, you are going to need to remember the name that you used on the account because they're gonna ask you for that to get back into the account. All right, now for the email username, um, just put in something easy that you can remember. Um, yeah, just something easy that you can rem remember. Um, and then you're just going to go ahead and create a password for it. So after you put in all that information, you can see here that it's asking for your phone number or recovery email, unless you're going to actively use this, um, then you do not need this. Um, also, the email that keeps popping up, this one, don't try to contact that, you guys, nor that phone number, because I have neither one of these anymore. That's why I'm okay with it constantly popping up. Um, but if you call that number, you're going to get a random person. So, um, yeah, so birthday, you can put in your birthday if you want. You just do, like, a random birthday. Do. Um, however, like I said, if you are planning on using this email a lot and you get locked out, you will need to know the date of birth that you put in, all that good stuff. And you're going to obviously accept the terms. Now, it will be a little bit different for Outlook, obviously, but this is just for Google. And now we just wait for that to load. All right, so once you get here, you can obviously see that everything is set up. So now what we're gonna do is go to Patreon and create a new account. 
um, right here in the corner, you'll see this create on Patreon. You're going to go ahead and click on that. All right. And here you will see the sign up with Google, sign up with Facebook, or just go ahead and type it in. If you want to go ahead and type it in, you can. I'm going to go ahead and sign up with Google. All right, so here you will see after you have created the account, it's going to ask you for your first name and your last name. Now, this has to be your legal name, okay? Now, it tells you that they need it for tax purposes and they, they will never show it publicly, which they don't. They will actually let you decide on a screen name. So, this is literally just for their purposes. So, you would put your, obviously, your... Um, legal first name and then your legal last name now me i'm not gonna use this because i already have one so we're just gonna put lindsey hauser all right so here it's gonna ask you um my audio my work contains audio or visual creations depicting explicit sexual situations including nudity and sexual content if you are posting any type of foot content that has any type of nudity or sexual implications in it, you will have to go ahead and check this box just so that they will not block out your content. Um, my foot content does not have anything sexual in it, so we're just going to go ahead and continue. All right, welcome to Patreon. Cool, cool, cool. So here you have your name. Now you can obviously change this if you do not want your Patreon people to see this. So say I want my nickname to be Lindy. So that is what we're gonna put and then it changes it to Lindy. Now, depending on what your pronouns are, um, you can also pick Lindy are creating or Lindy is creating. I think this is also for company use as well. Um, so if you have a company, it would be such and such L LLC are creating, I, mean, I don't know, honestly, I don't know why they have that, but you pick whatever sounds good to you. To me is creating sounds best. And then on what are you creating? This is going to tell new people that are coming to your site, what you're creating. So they know what kind of content to expect. So if you are doing it for foot content, you would put is creating foot content. If you don't want to do that, you could do is creating foot pictures. Is creating foot, you could do custom foot videos. I like to put cust, I like to put foot content because it's kind of like a generic for everything. So I like to do foot content and here it'll show that it'll say Lindy is creating foot content, okay? Then you know you have your profile picture. All right, and now we have our profile picture. Is that not like a great ass picture of me? I literally look so good. I miss putting colors in my hair. Oh, it's making me sad. All right, then you can go ahead and make yourself a cover photo if you want. It gives you the actual sizes. So if you're doing it in a third party app, you'll know how big it needs to be. Or you can just go ahead and select one. Now, the only thing is if you select one, it is going to go ahead and zoom it in for you. So, there we go. So, you see it automatically zooms it in for me. Now, where it says patreon.com slash, this is where you can make your personal page URL so you don't have to go and copy it every single time. This is for you to make a custom one so you'll know what your URL is. So anytime you need to share it with someone, you can just go ahead and type it out. You don't have to go and actually hit the share and get your personalized link. So here I could do patreon.com and I'm gonna do Lindy's feet. Or actually I'll do Lindy's world, that sounds cute. So then my personal link would be patreon.com slash Lindy's world. And that's all I have to write out whenever I'm giving people my link. So I love that about Patreon. So this is what we've done so far. Now it's going to ask you about your Patreon page. And it says the first thing potential patrons will see when they land on your page. So make sure you paint a compelling picture of how they can join you on this journey. Now, what I recommend for putting here 
is just going over like what all you're going to include if you want to include video sessions if you want to include um custom things like that anything like that just kind of write like a detailed um type of thing that you want so i'm gonna say welcome to lindy's world here you will find here you will find a world full of beautiful feet pictures videos and skype sessions this is the, like just an example this isn't what mine says i'll actually go back at the end and compare this to my page so you guys can see um this is just to give you guys like some ideas so welcome to lindy lindy's world here you'll find a world full of beautiful feet pictures videos and skype sessions by your favorite lindy Lindy, Lindy wears, I like to put the shoe size because a lot of people do ask for that. So on mine, I have it on mine. So I'll put Lindy wears a size 4.5 in children's. And a six in women's. You don't have to put the children's and women's I just like to because I don't know you know more more details makes it look more more full now this does not have to be super long you just want it to be kind of short and sweet get to the point of what you're posting um, you can do an intro video if you want I personally do not have one on mine and then here if you want you can go ahead and um, connect your social medias this will make sure that your display links will pop up if people want to connect with you through one of these sites and they found you through patreon so that is how it's looking i can go ahead and save those changes so that looks good now what we're gonna do is build a membership. This is where all of your guys' questions tended to fall at. So I'm gonna spend a lot of time going over this with you guys. All right, so here it says add a membership tier. You're obviously gonna hit create it's here. Now you can do your tiers however you feel like is going to make sense for you. The way that I do my tiers is my cheapest tier has access to all of the photos. My second most expensive tier has access to photos and videos. And then my third access tier has access to every single thing that I post on Patreon, as well as access to be able to chat with me as much as they want. So here we could do, we'll say all your favorite souls. And you could charge like this could be a tier literally just for someone who is only going to see pictures of your souls so you could charge let's see let's do we're gonna do forty dollars a month for someone to just see pictures of our souls now in your tier description you're going to want to put a tier description because you want to let them know what is included in this tier so that they're not disappointed or sign up for the wrong tier so here you're going to put, in this tier, you'll find, you'll actually, you'll unlock access to all of my favorite soul content. This will include pictures, videos, and live streams of my souls okay so just kind of sweet and simple if you want to add a cover image you can it'll just display whenever they click on the tier so then if you go to add a benefit this is where it's going to actually list out what they're going to unlock in the tier 
Um, once again, this just kind of ties along with the description and the description is optional, but like I said, I highly, highly recommend going ahead and doing the description and then also adding in the benefits. So I'll help you guys with the benefits and getting those set up. All right, so now we're in the benefits. So we're gonna click on add benefits. Now, this I think is where it kind of started confusing everyone. So down here, you can decide if you want a shipping address. I personally don't need one because I don't send my followers anything. Um, and then you can limit the number of patrons that can join the tier. So that way it kind of entices people to join quicker. Um, but I don't personally use that because I don't want to um, limit the number of people that have access to it. So, so let me go back. As you guys can see, to add it to your benefit, you hit add benefit and then you click on this browse thing right here. So they have some already like pre-made type things. If you want to go ahead and add these, so you can have ad free content, ad free episodes, ad free videos, behind the scenes, commission, digital downloads, da 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 da. You have all of these. You even have like fan requests, live chat, merch, shout outs, phone calls. I mean, there's a lot. So I would look through here and see if they already pre-made what you need for your website. However, if they didn't, this is what I do. I go to custom benefit and I hit add. And then for the title, I would make it um, weekly soul pictures or weekly soul content. So I would be posting weekly and saying that. Now what I do is I kind of just go to like, you could do like digital downloads. Um, you could do bonus content, um, exclusive posts and updates, um, live video or audio stream. It really just depends on what that specific item is. Um, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and do digital downloads, okay? Um, this kind of just affects the taxes on the item. So just try to find something that matches closely to what you have already. Then you're just gonna hit add benefit. Um, so here we see that they have weekly soul content. And we can just save that. All right, and here you can see your first tier. All right, and then we can add another one. We'll do Video Wonderland. You can name these literally whatever you want. So for this, we'll do $65. And this tier, we'll have access to exclusive video content, be able to request custom content. Okay, so then cover photo, I'm just doing this one right now. And you do add benefit and you can select benefits that you've already made. So you guys see the weekly soul content is already here. So we could just do that, but instead I'm gonna do something else. We're gonna do custom benefit. We're gonna do um, exclusive and custom videos. And the category is going to be, we'll say, hmm, we'll do, we'll just do bonus content. Okay. And you guys can add in as many benefits as you want. You can separate the tiers however you want. You don't have to do it this way. I'm just showing you a general setup so you guys can kind of get an idea. So we're just gonna save that. All right, so you guys can see, then if you hit preview page, it will give us a overview of what the page is looking like so far. So this is what 
people are going to see when they come to your page. All right, so also down here, it shows your patrons and how much you make for a month. You can turn this to private if you want, or you can leave it um, public. I have the number of patrons public, but I have the amount of money that I make private. Just because the patrons, I feel like it entices more people to join when they see that you already have a following. Um, but I don't want people to quite know how much I make unless I am telling them. So that's how it looks. Now here, it would give you a blurred out version of all of my posts and it would tell you what tier you would have to buy to unblock it. So this is what your page would look like to people that are not subscribed. Now, obviously you would have to set up like getting paid because you have to fill out your tax information, your ID, all of that good stuff. Um, I'm not going to go over that exactly because obviously I won't be filling this, this out. Um, however, this part is important. So if you go to the getting paid at um, the top of edit page, you'll see here it has a payment schedule. You can get paid monthly and charge your patrons at the start of every month or you can charge your patrons up friends now you have to verify and enable this by putting in your phone number um but i highly recommend going ahead and doing that because what happened to me last time this is where i messed up um what happened to me last time was i was charging monthly and what would happen is someone would join my website on like the 15th of the month and they wouldn't charge them until the first of the month after so people would join on like the 15th of the month and then they would literally quit like a day before the end of the month so you want to make sure that you are charging your patrons up front that is definitely a mistake that i made i hadn't done charge up front because i didn't want people joining on like the 28th and then getting charged again on the first but honestly that is their choice go ahead and charge your patrons up front because if you do the monthly people will take advantage of you and they will get free content. Or if you want, you can even charge them per a post if you'd like. Um, I think this is actually kind of a good idea for foot pictures. I personally just like the idea of having it for the entire month. Um, but this is a good idea. You can go ahead and make a paid post and then um, your patron will have to your patrons will have to pay for that post so that's a good idea as well if you want um then you select your currency obviously um you would just put on whatever currency that you have however if someone is paying in a different currency it will just convert over um, so you'll get paid in whatever currency that you decide. So I have some people that pay with euros. I have some people that pay with yens. Um, all of that just gets converted into U.S. dollars for me. So um, once you fill all of that out, then your creator page will be launched. And that is when you can edit how often you'd like to get paid. If you want it to be automatic or if you want to pull it out yourself and then you'll also get your tax information for like filing taxes now um you do have to report patreon earnings on your taxes anything over six hundred dollars so uh, just so that you guys know that let me see if there's anything else oh so here is where you can show if you want people to see your earnings you can put it on private if you don't want them to see it and then if you go to Patron Visibility, you'll see public and private. And then here, if you do start posting new content, you can go ahead and check that off. Um, and then you can also put in your analytics ID if you want. I personally don't. Um, that is more so for people that are teaching people how to like grow their stats, I feel like. Um, but other than that, think that is pretty much it um, if you guys want to set up merch and stuff like that you can that is up to you um so that is how i would set it up and then i would go ahead and hit the launch when i'm ready hope it doesn't actually launch okay 
So when you hit launch, it actually says that it has to meet your guidelines and they will send you an email when your page has been approved. Now for me, I literally think this only took like two or three days. Um, so it does not take long at all. Um, just make sure that you're looking out for that email so that when you get it, uh, you can make sure that you go ahead and confirm your launch. So that is that so far. I'm going to go ahead and get out of this and log into my Patreon so you guys can see that. All right, so here we are. You guys can see my page here. And as I was talking to you guys earlier, it says Debbie Dewdrop is creating foot content. Um, and then if it will go ahead and load. All right, so here we are. Logged into mine. Now you guys can see once you have created your Patreon and launched it and everything, things move around a little bit. Um, but one thing I will say is like, obviously if you go here, this is going to be the default page that it opens up on. If you go to memberships and then you go to your tiers, you can actually edit these later on if you need to, as long as you do not have an active Patron. Um, so you can change pricing, you can change the pictures, you can change um, the description and everything. Um, the only thing you can't change is the price if you have a active Patron in that specific tier. If you don't, then you can go ahead and change it. It won't stop you. Um, so these are my tiers. Right now I have access to all foot pictures, new posts weekly. So that is $35.99. And I just recently changed these. Um, get access to photos and videos, message for a request, and then I just put that I reserve the right to decline any videos at any given time for any given moment or reason. Um, and then I also have, you'll have access to all Patreon posts as be able to chat with me as much as you would like. Now, obviously this is a little expensive because I do have an active Patron right there, so I can't actually bring that down um, as long as they are active with me. Um, and then you'll unlock this once you have your page finalized. So you can go to your Patrons. You can see who is following you. I'm not going to get too much into that because I don't want to give out private information. Um, we can go to Insights. You can kind of track like how you're doing as far as payments and everything go with that. Um, it will show you like how many active patrons you have, how many new ones, um, and then how many people canceled. Um, you can also see your earnings. Um, so you guys can see this is my earnings for August at the moment. Um, and then you can see your previous earnings. Um, and it just goes like day by day. Then you can do insights for your post so you can see how many people viewed your post on that specific day um you can either it will automatically withdraw on the fifth of every month there is that then you know you have your messages your notifications and everything all right so to someone who is not already subscribed to me or not me looking at my page um this is what it would look like so they can pick their tier shows them once again how many patrons i have but i like to keep the amount that i make private um so there's that you guys can see this is my description so in my exclusive memberships, you'll see some of the best foot content, including pictures, videos, live streams, and more. Size 6 US, no nudity. Then here it will show how many posts I've made, how many links I've posted, and how many live streams I've posted. Now, to someone who is not subscribed to my channel, this is what the post will look like. So, you know, if people want to see these, obviously it's going to entice them to go ahead and join that specific tier. And then they'll have to sign up um, using a card or I also have PayPal. 
so yeah that is all that I have for today's video for you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it answered all of your questions. Um, if it did not answer some questions, make sure to go ahead and leave those in the comments down below and I will go ahead and answer those for you whenever I have availability to do so. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for supporting my content. Please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.